I know that a lot of people who create a product for their business get these requests coming out of everywhere about, <laughs> can you send me a free one? Or yes. I own a blog. I write blog content. Can you please send me a free one so I can sample it? People want donations for auctions. So what advice yes. do you have if you're going to give a tip to someone who's starting a business and is creating a really cool, tangible product? How do you manage all those requests for free stuff? I... That is one of the things that has been such a huge surprise to me is how these people find me. Like how the Junior League Women's Group in Westfield, New Jersey has found me to ask at their country club function if I can donate some product. But you're flattered, right? But I'm flattered. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, yeah, I'm very flattered. Now buy one. Um, but I, you know, a lot of blogs, I get so many blogs that ask. And I actually check their Alexa rating and see what kind of traffic that they get. Um, I look at other products that they've reviewed, and I get references. I contact those companies and say, oh, "Have you? Did you see anything back? Did you?" And I also make sure that the blog, or the website, or whatever event it is, fits into my brand and who my company is. That's a really good point. Yeah, because you can get inundated, right? You could spend yeah. all day long sending out free stuff and go broke. Absolutely. Doing it. <laughs> I'm a little more prone to the modern kid blogs because that's what I like so much. What do you mean and, by that? Um, there's just that kind of a genre of modern child blogs or even modern, you know, home blogs and um, apartment therapy or Blossom or Tangled and True. There are a few different blogs that um, Wibby's been, Wibby's been on. Okay. Um, so I like, if I'm going to be part of a contest or be part of a blog giveaway, I want to make sure that it reaches my audience. And it does pay off. You've found if, if you send a product to some of those where you think it fits your brand, it's paid off. Um, I judge it by the amount of traffic that hits my site, not necessarily the sales because I feel that, um, my product is a high end product and just getting the word out there about it and how many people have been to the site is a really good judge of of what later down the road can be expected from that customer again. Good points. Great tips. Thank you for Thanks, sharing those. Sure.